Hello, I'm Dr. Leslie Turner, physical therapist and certified lymphedema therapist at Washington University in St. Louis. This video is designed to explain the importance of exercise following your cancer treatments. Exercise is important for several reasons. Maintaining a good body weight will help decrease the chances of getting lymphedema or will help you better manage your lymphedema if you already have it. Exercise also helps to improve your mood and quality of life by allowing you to be more active at home and in the community. Starting a walking program will help you stay fit and active. The goal is to exercise four to five times a week for at least 30 minutes. If you are unable to walk for 30 minutes, start walking for a shorter time, like 10 or 15 minutes, and increase your total walking time each week by one to two minutes until you reach 30 minutes. Even walking for two 15-minute periods is beneficial. It is always important to ask your physician if it is safe for you to exercise. Postural exercises are also very important after treatment for breast cancer. Performing gentle stretches and breathing exercises daily can help decrease your chances for shoulder and neck pain in the future. An individualized exercise program based on a person's posture and muscle lengths and strengths is the most beneficial to perform. A physical therapist can perform a movement examination and give you a detailed exercise program to follow. A few examples of basic exercises to perform in the home include deep breathing, sit up in a straight chair, inhale fully, Imagining you are opening up your chest and expanding your rib cage and lungs. Shoulder stretches. Stand facing the wall with your toes about four to five inches away from the wall and feet hip width apart. Place the pinky sides of your hands against the wall. Slide your hands up the wall to stretch out your shoulders in the front of your chest. Shoulder blade squeezes. Sit up straight in a chair with your hands resting on your lap. Gently squeeze your shoulder blades back together and hold for three to five seconds. Pectoral stretch. Lie on your back with your arms out to the side, comfortably resting on pillows. Your palms should be facing the ceiling. Gently slide your arms along the pillow to stretch out your chest and shoulders. These exercises should be performed gently and without pain. It is okay to feel a gentle stretch with these exercises. In general, it would be good to perform these stretches once a day. Each exercise can be form, performed 10 to 15 times. Talk with your surgeon about when it is appropriate to start these exercises following surgery. Swimming is also a helpful form of exercise. Con contracting your muscles against the pressure of the water should help decrease your swelling. It is also a good form of exercise if other joints, such as your low back, hips, and knees are painful. In general, gradually increase the amount of exercise over time to allow your body to adapt to change. The no pain, no gain mindset is not correct. Also, avoid lifting heavy weights and performing repetitive motions. It is safe to lift weights with your arms. However, avoid lifting the maximum weight possible. Also, repetitive motions will make your lymph system work too hard and may increase your swelling. An example of this would be spending several hours using your affected arm washing windows. Instead, take a break every 30 to 45 minutes would be ideal during this task and others. If you are unable to seek advice from a physical therapist about which exercises would be best for you, ask your oncologist for guidance especially about when you're able to start or resume exercises after surgery. He or she can also give you guidance about when to take a break from exercise during chemotherapy or radiation.